Hi guys. So today let's talk a little bit about uh, this popular misconception. Let me ask you a question. Can you burn fat and gain muscle at the same time? Yeah, that sounds crazy. Yeah, most of you will answer no because most of you would have tried it, including me. I've tried it many times in the past and I've told people don't do both at the same time. If you want, cut down on weight, lose some fat, become really thin and then try to gain muscle. And for other people have advised, gain muscle mass, gain weight, put on a slight tummy and then reduce. But can we do both at the same time? This is something that I've come to realize over the past two years and I wanted to share my experience with you. So guys, I'm Dr. Vinod and today we'll be discussing a little bit about this topic. How do you go into weight loss phase? So basically you need a calorie deficit, right? So usually calorie deficit that I'd recommend is 300 calories through your diet and 200 calories through your exercise. Or it could be 200 by diet and 300 calorie burn via exercise every day. So what happens is if your maintenance calories, maintenance calories means the amount of calories that you need to be at one constant weight without affecting your daily life. So if you are a 70 kg male, you probably have a maintenance calorie of 1800 or 2000 something like that so let's assume it's 1800 for you and you want to go into calorie deficit so you uh, reduce 300 calories in your diet and bring it from 1800 to uh, 1500 and you reduce another 200 calories to exercise so the net calories that you're taking in is 1300 okay so when you do this you notice that you're losing weight but at the same time you measure your body fat percentage and your lean muscle mass and you find that you've lost muscle also okay so now comes the tricky part so now you don't know what to do because you've also lost muscle and here's the secret so when you're losing weight it's not just calories that matter it's the type of calories that you take in i mean just because you want to take carbohydrates can't doesn't mean that you have to take rice or any kind of uh, junk food for carbohydrate take healthy carbohydrates when you take healthy, slowly releasing carbohydrates, such as potatoes, they release sugar slowly into your bloodstream. And because of that, those sugars don't go directly to your tummy. They go more towards glycogen stores and muscle formation, muscle recovery. So because of that, there's lesser tummy formation, more muscle mass. And of course, you have to pay attention to your protein intake. So if you're taking just uh, one gram per kilogram of body weight, it may be enough for runners, but if you are interested in bodybuilding, you may have to take at least 1.4 or 1.6 grams for every kilogram of your body weight. So if you are around 70 kgs, so you have to take at least 112 grams of protein to maintain your body weight or to try to put on a little muscle mass. If you are going to take anything lesser than that, you are going to lose muscle. Okay? It's normal physiology. Right? So take in more protein, take in proper carbohydrates. Calculate how much fats you're taking. For God's sake, don't take 15 almonds every day and wonder why you are not losing fat. Okay? Measure how much fat you're taking. Have quality fats. At the same time, don't take too much of fats. Take quality carbohydrates. Make sure you're on a calorie deficit. Don't be afraid to lose weight while gaining muscle. This actually works for people who are beginners and for people who are overweight. Right? The people for whom this doesn't work very well is for people who are already experienced, probably people like me. It works very, very slowly, but yes, it works. It takes time. And according to me, doing a complete bulk and then a complete cut, the amount of success that you have with a complete bulk and a complete cut, I think that success rate is lesser than a success rate that you can have with burning fat and gaining muscle at the same time. Try it and tell me how it works. Hope this information is useful. Take care. And subscribe to my YouTube, FIT DOC. Bye.